Yo, welcome back to another episode of Ray Shadow Legends. As you might have known, I've um, produced a lot of videos regarding the Sand Devil Farm, and I thought it would be fitting for me to close the chapter on Sand Devil with this episode. Okay, so this episode is going to feature Cronum. Cronum um, is capable of solo farming Sand Devil Stage 24. It's a well-known fact and there are a couple of videos on YouTube already regarding Cronum Farm but I find the information jumbled or scattered around. It's not enough, it's not accurate enough for me to min-max my stats. If we are going to use Cronum to farm um, Sand Devil, you have to know beforehand you need intensive stats for for him okay so the first test we're gonna put him into a speed test okay to understand what is the minimum speed that you can go for when you're building chronum so the answer would be 260 speed okay um, the boss is at 265 speed for stage 24 you can go um, 5 speed um, slower than the boss and you can just ignore the, the other stats uh, for this test because we want to make sure he will always start with the A3 HP burn when the boss is asleep okay we want to make sure of this um, and you also have to know you, you will take decreased speed so let's see if this speed can go through the decrease speed debuff okay let's quickly take him into stage 24 for a minimum speed test <laughs> okay okay so if you're going slower than the boss you don't need presets for uh, your farm team okay you can just go like this without a preset let's go in all right boss will kill everyone and he will revive okay so he will start with the HP burn you don't see it land here because my accuracy is not there we just want to make sure he always open with um, the A3 when the boss is asleep okay now he's reviving okay again with the HP burn let's see if we can do well with the decreased speed um, okay no decrease speed yet we also want to factor in the fact that he may or may not take decrease speed throughout the entire run so if he can go through those scenario and then still uh, open with the a3 when the boss is asleep then the speed tune will work spirit haste is another mastery that you must have for this uh, speed requirement as he will instantly give you uh, extra 24 speed when everyone else dies <laughs> all right so you can, as you can see here he may or may not take the decreased speed from the boss okay that usually will mess up your speed tune so consistency is what we want okay and we need him to always use the a3 start with the a3 when the boss is asleep that is very important okay so what i'm seeing here is that we we are able to consistently use the a3 um, even even with the decreased speed okay so this is the speed test for you to build uh this is the speed requirement for you to build chronum effect efficiently okay let me just end the run now we have done the speed test let's move on to do the survivability test okay so i have regeared chronum um, to these stats um, very high hit point decent hit point is not crazy high hit point it's just enough to survive and close to 3000 defense okay the speed as i said um, the minimum speed is 260 so you can just aim for that actually i prefer 260 because it doesn't require any preset <laughs> okay 
if you go above 265 speed then you you will need to preset your team which is annoying <laughs> um, okay so accuracy wise go for 480 accuracy okay unless you put him in the leader spot so this kind of defense stats is worth noting that I'm also using Jarmasa in uh, the leader spot so she also gives the 20% de de defense aura okay if I, I feel that if you go above 3000 3100 um, defense you can just put Chronum in the leader spot he'll, he'll work just fine and another test is him using bolster set instead of regeneration gear right regeneration gear gives 15% um, um, hit point a uh, heal but bolster set is 5% uh, less why this test is important because I feel that uh, it's easier to get um, better rolls on bolster set than uh, regeneration gear why because you can control the quality of the bolster pieces when you craft it you can just put in a lot of rank charms and speed charms or whatever get good quality gear okay so it's easier to obtain good pieces when you roll bolster set rather than regeneration gear unless you just buy the regeneration gear from the packs of course um, bolster, bolster set materials do come with a price if you are low spender go for the forge pass it's very worth it so let me briefly showcase my pieces um, stat intensive as expected <laughs> okay um, very powerful immortal gear here um, immortal gear right and I just roll this during uh, CVC <laughs> um, quad accuracy roll and then ascended with speed <laughs> imagine the odds right this would balance out the fact that I don't really have a good um, accessory for barbarian faction okay just enough to go by skill wise obviously going to fully book the a3 because i have no control over where the book lands right there are some people that are saying it's better for this to be on a four turn cooldown um, i'm not sure but i am able to speed tune it at a three turn cooldown it's very good for me um, for the a2 fully book it as well you want to 100 percent activate the burn um, this one is, i leave it up to you it's optional feels like he is already extending the burn um, quite often for blessing if your chronum is um, level 1 to level 4 awakening I would suggest you go for miracle heal miracle heal is so OP for him when he solo uh, sand devil because it also allows him to clear the destroy hit point outside the boss sleeping time okay if you are level 5 or higher obviously go for brimstone <laughs> okay as for masteries very important to not take cycle of magic this one okay i know it's great for speed run but if you want consistency don't go for this <laughs> okay um, this will decrease the cooldown of the A3 and then he will use the A3 at the wrong time so that's not good for us Spirit Haze very important it, a must have for this build okay go down for uh, go down to Eagle Eye as well so for defense 3 obviously rejuvenation and shadow heal very important you have to take those okay so basically those are the, the the information that you require when you're building a chronum okay let's take this this kind of stats let me recap again let's take this kind of stats into the sand devil 24 okay all right let's go 
Okay, so if you are above 265 speed, you will need a preset. Why? Because he is faster than the boss, so Chronum has to open with the A1 and prioritize the A3. Um, you can leave the A2 as default because you don't want him to always follow up with the three hitter activation. The A2 is a three hitter. You don't want to you don't want him to always follow up with this because it will wake the boss really really fast. You want him, ideally you want him to open with A3, burn land burn on the boss, follow up with the A1. You will extend the burn and then by chance he will activate the A2. He will use the A2. The AI is smart enough to use this somehow. I'm not sure how. Okay. Other guys in the team don't matter. They just dare to die. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see the run. Okay, so full auto going to start off with the A3. <laughs> okay. Um we want him to consistently land the A3, even going through all the decreased speed. We're gonna take all the decreased speed, right? But our speed tune is not affected. Okay. Always start with the A3 when the boss is asleep. That's what we want for this uh, consistent farm time. Um, there are two ways that uh, Chronum will heal from uh, this build. One is through the bolster and immortal set. The other is from the A2. His A2 gives him some heals when activating the burn. <clears throat> so, in order to help him survive a better survivability, Miracle Heal is so OP here because it allows him to restore the max hit point even outside the boss sleeping time. So that is why if your Chronum is only level 1 to level 4 Awakening, there's no point for you to put him in a uh, brimstone because the boss would just cleanse off the smite right next best thing would be miracle heal <laughs> okay um i think i have seen many comments for this chronum solo time to be around one minute 50 seconds or two minutes i forgot how many seconds that is before brimstone was nerfed okay you have to know that if brimstone wasn't nerfed he will always land that smite um sorry not always is when he lands that smite the boss will cannot cleanse therefore a lot of damage is dealt to the boss <clears throat> okay so so this build is post brimstone nerf not fast as um uh, back then but it's still at a decent time okay <laughs> my fastest run time for this uh, build will be around 2 minute 48 seconds okay I don't know if that is decent enough for you but for me <laughs> it's very good and can farm 3 food right so good and with this new information given to you Hopefully, uh, hopefully you will, you can min max it more efficiently because I just feel like uh, the information out there is not enough for me to get the correct stats required for Chronum. But now, after a lot of resources spent, I got it right. <laughs> so I wish to share this with you on how you can build your Chronum and using this episode as a fitting closure to the Sand Devil chapter because I feel like I just done a lot of Sand Devil content okay so best time 2 minute 48 seconds with this team let's do a quick recap before I let you go okay so your takeaway for today is this your takeaway today is these stats that you can get i think it's quite achievable for you uh above 
63, I would say 63, I think 63,000 hit point Close to 3,000 defense 260 speed And 480 accuracy <clears throat> If you go for 260 speed You don't need presets, okay? Always remember If you go above 265 speed Then you will need a preset Like I mentioned just now or else you would you can just go in and farm <laughs> with 260 speed okay so that would be a takeaway hope you enjoy this episode and find the information useful for you to build uh, your chronum and if you find this useful and helpful you can share it to your friends i appreciate that so um, have a good one ahead and I will see you guys on the next one So going to start off with the A3 obviously will miss because my accuracy is lacking <laughs> so, so, so that's um, Keep saying that um, The the run times for uh, Chronum Solo is around one 1 minute 30 50 seconds or 2 minutes or something like that if your brimstone always lands then 